Hey. But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. 